Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This portal was a mistake. Let's see if it's a mistake to go through it. This was intended to get me close to the witch farm. Ooh, it's, uh, oh, it's dark. It's very dark. Oh, oh, look at that. There's a structure up in the air here. It looks very neat from underneath. Woohoo. <laughs> it's a big clover. Just in time for to miss St. Patrick's Day. Boost. All right. This is the witch farm. And flying up here the way I did there, that would have been something that just yesterday I would never have dreamed of doing. Uh, I've mentioned a couple times that uh, I want to, as part of my fundraiser for MS Walk activities, which I am raising money for. I will be walking in MS Walk um, in about a month. Uh, and I keep saying, oh, I'm going to do a little live stream sort of thing to see if I can raise money that way too. And it was always kind of an issue of my internet. Uh, I keep saying, oh, I got to fix my internet. Well, guess what? I fixed my internet. Go. Yeah, I, I think I think my internet's okay. And this isn't as fast as I was getting before. Uh, so I, th I think uh, I think this will be sufficient. Let's see what my upload speed is now, but it was, it's been in the sort of the 20 to 25 megabit range, which will be sufficient, I think. Oh, it's a little bit struggling. 20 megabits, 22, 21, 22. Yeah, that'll work. So my internet situation was uh, pretty, pretty bad. It was a, we had DSL. You're getting it through Earthlink, who was renting it from Covad, which, uh, and we're pretty far from this, from the operating for the central office. So the best speeds we were a ever able to get was about one and a half megabits, which was enough, you know, to surf the web and stuff like that. But, and it let me play Minecraft on the server, but sometimes I would have trouble getting through portals and things. Uh, and certainly, uh, it was was not great if somebody else were doing something network intensive. I, I could have problems. Hi. I'll explain them in a minute. So uh, I've been paying for internet up at my parents' place up in the Bay Area through Comcast and was generally pretty happy with the speeds that I was getting through that. It was cable modem and I was paying, you know, was paying more than I was paying for the DSL, but it was faster. So that seemed to be like an okay trade-off. And so when I called after we sold the house, which uh, the house closed yesterday, I think it was yesterday, day before, today's Thursday, and it closed on Wednesday. So uh, yeah, so after doing that and then canceling the Comcast service, I call, I, when I talk to them, I'm like, do you serve the Los Angeles area? And they're checked and they're like, no, they don't, they don't offer service in my neighborhood, which, uh, would be necessary to, to get that service here. So I checked to see if AT&T U-verse, the fiber version were available in the neighborhood, the fiber to the curb. It's not, and uh, they don't offer their straight fiber service yet here either, and neither does Fios. I live in a neighborhood that's not super central to the rest of Los Angeles, so, although in some ways it is. So, we, uh, so I ended up going and figuring out who my local cable, op cable operator was. It's charter so they offer their spectrum internet service here and they offer starting speeds of 100 megabits i'm like yeah right i'm sure that'll work but called them up and they said yes indeed they could offer me 100 megabit 
cable or if I wanted to pay a little bit more, they could offer me 400 megabit cable. I'm like, okay, let's do that. So I have fast, fast internet and they came and hooked it up today in the rain. I felt bad for the guy, but he, uh, he, he got it all hooked up and we're all hooked up and everything's good. And I've been stress testing it all afternoon and I'm super happy. So very good. Haven't spent a lot of time with it during the periods of the evening in which everybody else in the neighborhood will be on their their cable modems, but I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so, lots of things have changed here. Which farm? The uh, I moved the item elevator so I could install a sorting system, and I wrapped the sorting system around the item elevator. All right, so couple things here go out to these two a couple things here go to these two and so on uh, and then these are shulker box loaders so I have oh six boxes of redstone dust and four boxes of glowstone I pulled a lot of the glowstone that was collected while I was building the thing and turned it into glowstone blocks and some of it I, I've used like over and the platforms there so that's why there's less of that. Six boxes of uh, gunpowder, <clears throat> six boxes of sugar, four, five boxes of sticks. I've been using the sticks to build ladders and use that as fuel, which uh, is all fine and dandy. Then I've got bottles, yep, and spider eyes, yep. And this is my overflow. So this is all the stuff that didn't fit into the sorter. So it's miscellaneous stuff. Sometimes I get bones and arrows and stuff from other mobs. How the ink sacks got in there, I'm not entirely sure. They may have come out of my pocket or somebody may have put them in there as a prank. But, you know, these others got in here because the item sorter got overflowed. I only have one slot essentially for each item. And if it gets overwhelmed, stuff can pass by it. And so... I do have some additional things in here, but this works pretty well. Um, this is not, this stone brick structure is not what I want this to look like. Right now it kind of looks like ruins, which is kind of cool. I made a little glass hut here for me to go AFK in. I can close myself and sit here and just watch. And Eric Hulk is on. And the mob cap is probably, he's probably taken up the mob cap. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, when he's on, there's probably a lot of lit up caves near his place. So, uh, this is this is uh, not necessarily going to work. But you can see the, the redstone torches and the repeaters blinking when stuff goes through those sorting items. And you can kind of see the... Uh, comparators up there flash which is kind of cool to be able to watch so I don't know uh, my plan was to build a dome around this so I have to I have to think about that I put a tree farm up here so I could get some spruce and dark oak and uh, get some nice woods to build the dome out of uh, dark oak and jungle wood uh, any more spruce? Oh, actually, I think, yeah, this thing has got some spruce in it. So I've got plenty of spruce. I, and I was thinking spruce and oak might be a thing because the witch hut itself was built out of those materials. So I'm thinking maybe build like a witch hut sort of build around this. Who knows? Can't be exactly like it because it is an octagon, but we'll see. And I built a platform out over here. And put down some mycelium and planted some mushrooms so that they spread. Put up some jungle wood here so I could get some uh, cocoa beans. Because I need a lot of brown glass for the way I'm doing this. And I want to build more platforms. right? And part of me, I think these are maybe temporary. Because I want to build a large smelter. I've got plenty of glass at the moment. This is all glass. But... Uh, I, I think it might be useful to, to do that. Still using ladders as fuel, but you can also use giant mushroom blocks as fuel, and they're actually a little bit easier to come by. You bone meal the mushrooms, and you get large mushrooms, and a couple large mushrooms get you a good stack of things. 
And these burned mushroom blocks smelt as efficiently as ladders. It's just it's only one thing instead of seven sticks. And so, you know, it's one and a half items per. It's not great. It's not as big as charcoal. But I could also take some of the logs and I'm going to out of this and make charcoal. Uh, it's just that the charcoal doesn't stack into blocks. And I moved the portal over here onto its own platform to keep the pigmen from getting too active when they do spawn. This is closer to where the, the portal was in the first place. So, I was hoping to be able to show this thing in action, but... But the server's been pretty busy lately, uh, so that's why this is a little bit quiet at the moment. We could jump down and see if there are any actual witches in there. Hey, so I was I was up here and working and laying out this platform and building the sword of here and then suddenly I hear meow and there's a cat just showed up, just teleported to me. Uh, not entirely sure what happened. Um, Smash Master was on the server at the time and I have a feeling they were near... They were out exploring and were probably near the jungle, uh, our little jungle area where we can get cats and parrots. And I have a feeling that they somehow, I don't know, activated a, a cat that I had tamed but hadn't come with me and it just teleported to me from pretty far away. I mean, that, that area is way over there. So okay that's pretty that was pretty funny and then while i was down here running around killing cows and such there was there was this dog just this wolf just started showing up and walking around so i decided to tame it since i already had a cat up here I figured i may as well have a dog so i tamed the wolf and it teleported up to me so it's all pretty good uh, i also made a new axe because I wanted something with fortune on it and I don't have I didn't otherwise have a fortune axe I have a fortune pickaxe but not a fortune axe and some of these trees the dark oak isn't too bad but the jungle the jungle leaves are really awful about they're really stingy with their with their saplings and and so having fortune increases your chance of getting a sapling drop which is nice it does not help with mushroom blocks. So I was thinking of, instead of growing a bunch of small mushrooms like this, growing giant mushrooms and, and chopping them down with my fortune axe. Unfortunately, that does not actually increase the number of mushrooms that a mushroom block will drop when you're chopping it with an axe. I don't know why seems like it would make a lot of sense if it did but it doesn't so so by using the fortune uh pick or sorry this fortune axe on these dark oak uh, dark oak leaf blocks i will actually get back more saplings than i needed to grow the the, the tree now, dark oak isn't that tricky that it's not that difficult it's not like jungle jungle leaves are very stingy with their their saplings but but this way I don't have to I don't have to ever run back and and raid my stores for more saplings just to make sure that I can keep growing trees that I want oh hello so yeah There we go. So that's the bulk of what I've been doing. I, I did uh, make a little creative testing world. See, I got seven saplings out of that pretty tiny, eight, 11 saplings out of that tiny dark oak tree. So that works pretty well. And I got 39 blocks. Normally these things give you a stack or more of blocks so I've got plenty of blocks and then as I said I've, I've got a 
I've got a, a little overstack of, of saplings. So I need to start getting some jungle wood and playing with designs to make my little 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 uh, hut there. Oh, I just had a thought. Maybe put wood around the base and then I top it with a glass dome. That way I can still see the workings of the the sorting system so I can see when it's actually active and doing things. Because if I stray too far from this spot here, the witches down in there will start to despawn. Like if I go over here to check on it, see how it's doing, the witch, now I'm, you know, getting far enough away from that, that the, the witches that are in the farm, even the ones that are currently suffocating could potentially despawn. So that's not real great. Let's uh, jump down below and see if anybody's in the farm. Oh yeah, listen to that. Oh, which is dying galore. Very good. Let's get back up there and see what we can do. Let's see if I can fly. Oops. Without getting too far away. Ow, ow. Ooh. That was a rough landing. Let's get back over here. Hopefully I didn't stray too far away to cause them all to despawn. But if we sit here and watch, maybe we'll see some blinky lights. Wow. So anyway, that's that's that. I am I have never I have an account on Twitch uh, Twitch. I have I have never streamed anything on it. I watch other people's streams from time to time. Uh, so I may uh, I may experiment with figuring out how to get set up to do that and then do my fundraising uh, fundraising stream to try and raise money for the National MS Society um, to supplement my walk MS walk MS fundraising efforts. Uh, it'll be a Minecraft Minecraft live stream probably doing something something different. My plan is that I will be yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my plan is to do a, a walkathon in Minecraft. Come on, lights, you can blink. Uh, I also have uh, for other fundraising opportunities, <laughs> uh, I also have albums on Bandcamp and Oh, blink, 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 blink. You see that there? That should have turned off one of those redstone torches and s sorted stuff down into the sorter. So some stuff's coming up. Let's go see if we can catch things floating up the item elevator. So uh, I have decided that any... Oh, here comes some redstone and some sugar and some bottles. Very nice. Um... So any any album sales, so if you go to Bandcamp, and I'll post a link in the description, and if you buy any of my albums, uh, I will, any proceeds from that that I get, oh, there's some blinking, yeah, look at that. Um, I will donate any proceeds that I get until the walk to the National MS Society. Now it's not super efficient to do it that way because I will, uh, oh, blink. Uh, because you know, Bandcamp takes a little piece of it and then PayPal takes a little piece of it and I don't end up with uh, whatever uh, whatever it is that you paid to purchase the album. Um, they, are, they are set up for the most part as pay what you want, which can include free. And if you wanted to, and you wanted to make sure that all of the money that you, you wanted to donate to the cause goes to the National MS Society and you still get the music, you can go buy, and I'm making air quotes with my fingers, you can go buy the albums for zero dollars and then go make a donation for the amount that you would have purchased the album for on my fundraiser page. And that way all that money goes to the National MS Society and you still get the music. Yeah, you can do that. Um, or if you want to support my Bandcamp stat numbers a little bit. You could go, uh, 
purchase the music there for whatever whatever you feel a digital album is worth and you can listen to the songs as well and if if you don't like them that's fine you don't have to pay them pay anything for them but there we go um i thought there we go more sorting action eric hulk must have moved to a place where there's fewer mobs there's some more blinking very good oh there's some more blinking see this is cool you can sit here and watch it and you can you can watch these lights here sometimes flicker a little bit um yeah so there we go i think that was the only update i haven't i have this is all i really done recently i mean this is a fair amount of work laying out these platforms doing it up in the middle of the air you got more stuff coming up nope i don't see it very good but now that i have proper internets i can do crazier th i can do somewhat crazy things like this i can go flying places that i would never really have before oh and there's there's the portal for the miss my mistake portal and if i turn left here this will take us past a uh, big pile of stone this will take us past risk and seize place right here which you can see very nice this little water fountain his golden gate bridge work in progress which hasn't progressed a whole lot but um if i keep going this way i'll hit spawn island and then eventually get back to my place and i don't have to worry about flying into chunks that aren't loaded there's spawn island because that can be very dangerous and very shortly here we will see the mountain on which my base is built there we go oh there's my landing pad pretty slick so the witch farm isn't that far away from everything plop there we go anyway that's that i think that was the only update i had thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye